I'll give this to the Osram. Whatever they do, they do with me. They say Marie. Just as I suspected, Sakuli's new painting rejects all tradition. I don't know about all this sun business. Little Spark. Name's Jira. I run this fine watering hole. I like what you've done with the place. Something troubling you, Jira? When the Karja Fort opened, I got word that my husband had come looking for me. But only the word made it to the fort. He didn't. You have a husband? Kander. Beat him in an arm wrestling match. I left him behind when I left the claim. Some metal sellers passed him at the bridge near the glare break. Seeing as you drift on the wind, little spark. If I'm out that way, I'll look for him. But do you want him to find you, Jira? Ever have those mornings when you wake up without all the answers? Still, I'll be heading up to the fort to resupply. Luck on your travels.
I see someone. <laughs> well, well. Always told Durval a woman would undo him, and he had it coming. I've calluses older than you. I have calluses enough if you want to test me. <laughs> she sparks. I believe it, Flame Hair. Petra Forge woman. Uh, Aloy. Machine hunter. Hmm, machine hunter, eh? Huh. I could have a use for you. Straight of it is, we're being muscled out of our own claim. That's why I've been working on this scrap spitting beast. It's a dispute settler. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal, and the dust storms. And the heaps back there. A scrapyard, piled by Osram past, from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke. And sweat. <laughs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I can taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was it a battlefield? Hmm, stockpile maybe, or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah, some Delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. So you're a Forge woman. You run the Forge and the town too. The town is the forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it, without all the Eeldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, three days argument any time someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Oh, it is. But we like arguing. You need hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge Wife. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I cooled in my ways. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osram camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. A place to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. This weapon you're working on, I've never seen anything like it. Your design? Mm. See my face in it, can you? This one's mother helped reclaim Meridian back in the day. A job like that isn't done with strategy. They needed to shake the walls, turn the mad Sun King's army to blood and feathers. What's that face for? Weapons with such power. It's not the weapon, Flame Hair. It's the wielder. If that siege had touched the Great Elevator, they'd have answered to me. Good work, that elevator. Story in every chain link. I'll make you suffer them one day if you like. This beast doesn't have a story yet. Too heavy to carry, eats metal like a snap maw. You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. 
I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? Perfect. Bandits have a good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells.
There, power cell. Get into the scrappers run and find those. You'll get yours parts. when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. They haven't stripped the parts already. The scrappers made that pile. Strange. Are they nesting? Let me find something Petra can use. Fast. I've been in the scrapyard long enough.
Petra, I have the parts you wanted, but there are more bandits coming. The rest of their clan. They want to take the town. Do they now? Hold this thing steady while I give it a voice. Then we'll let it talk terms for us. Now take it up and brace yourself. Don't press it against your hips if you ever want to use those for it. All right, all right, I got it. Ugh, heavy. All I can do to hold it up. Ugh. Come on, man, if you're coming. Run this forge dirt town red, boys. <laughs> Manners. Well, so far. Room for improvement on the gun. No complaints about the gunner. But a bandit clan would pull back now. Come on, you bunkheads! They only have one cannon! That puts a strain on. But I'd call that a route. Oh, my teeth hurt from all that. That's interesting. Need a leather strap to bite down on, perhaps. We'll give those wretches a sky burial. That's fancy talk for leaving them out for the birds. More than they'd have done for us if this thing didn't work. Uh, if it didn't work? It could have not worked? It isn't finished. That's why we're testing it. Now, now, you had your Nora toys to fight with. Saying goes, you can only trust metal. But my trust was placed well in you. You're owed, Aloy Machine Hunter. I won't forget it. <sighs> Neither will I, Petra. Whoa. Still feel the lightning snap in my hair. Kept the wheel turning all day. And Are you looking for something? Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Balaja the task of getting cables from that herd. But Zorgris and Balaja are meant for each other. Like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Balaja wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed the herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Where did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Sure, Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. What have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. I would run off in search of them, but since Jor Gris took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. I can look for your friends. Where have they gone? They were headed to the Arch, northwest of here, to watch for the herd. 
I hope they've found their way there. If we miss that herd, we won't be able to keep our cannons firing. I'll throw myself into this fire if I've risked our freedom. Let's keep that as a last resort. I'll do what I can. Smoke and sweat. That's how you know you've done a good day's work. I keep thinking I see George. If you could- I'll see what I can do. Always so pale. A few minutes at the forge, the heat'll put some color in your cheeks. I don't need a forge for that. Rushing into the wilds should do it. Mmm, what's lit your fire this time? I can handle it. No doubt you can, but if it involves free heap, I need to hear about it. You sent two hunters after a herd. They've gone missing. Well, they couldn't have. Caleb could find a needle in a slag heap. Unless he didn't go. Careless, two-fisted smelter. What'd he do? Traded places with Jagri's. By fire and spit! What are you gonna do about this trade? Waste of Caliph's time and mine. Jagri's and Baladia didn't need his push. They're bound together. Just like in the forge. You let the weight of the hammer do the work, not the arm. Never figured Caliph for a tender sort. <laughs> You're not angry? Oh, I'll make him sweat it. But one thing I've learned, some things will happen no matter what you do. Why did you need behemoth cables from that herd? Those cables make the best fuses for our cannons. Even so, they wear out fast and we always need more. Our guns keep us strong and free. Without them, we're easy scrap for bandits and machines. You could trade for them. Some supplies we need to get on our own, or we're dependent on others. That's a burden we won't bear. But you asked me for help. <laughs> Some burdens are welcome. Why the urgency with this herd? Once that herd hits the cauldron, it'll be out of our reach, and another won't come for a long while. We need those cables, and we've got to take them now. If you find those two, send them back in one piece. If you bring me behemoth cables while you're at it, I'd be beholden to you. Careful. It could become a habit. Mentioned. Now to see if I can. They're telling how many people pass this way. But this was a man with a cart, so. Doesn't make any sense. What's around here? Someone's possessions. Kendarts? There's goods scattered everywhere. And a little blood, too. Either he fell, or. There's 
enough blood to worry me. Blood. Must have had time to bind his wound. This chest looks like it's a boss around making. At least he's easy to follow. I just hope he's okay. Right on target. Thing to see here. Barrel. The scent reminds me of. Yes, Aaron's breath. That's Osser on brew. 
Did it roll downhill? Glad to see you, stranger. Are you Kendert? I'm a friend of Jira's. Huh? I'm a husband of Jira's. She heard you'd gone missing. I tracked you. What happened? I was coming to join her. A sandstorm blew in, I sought shelter. It didn't work out. And here I am getting red as a Karja priest, my goods scattered in a herd of tramplers. There's only so much you can do to make me look less of an idiot. But could you get back my scrapper sap? That would be the stuff down there with the herd of tramplers? I'm not proud. I'm just a brewer. And maybe five bottles of that is worth more than I am to Jira. Color's changing. Sun's going down. Huntress. Thank you. Asaram's finest, this stuff. Keeps you warm in a snowstorm, strips the grit out of a gear wheel. Kandert, why did you set out so unprepared? Hammer to steel of the matter is. I did it for love. When Jira said she wanted to leave the claim, I consulted with the Ildermen. I won't repeat what they said. You won't like it. You've got me curious. No, 
I've already dug myself a hole deep enough to swallow a Thunderjaw. It was my mistake not going with her. I've had time enough to see that. Maybe it's not too late. You'll find her stocking up at Day Tower. Good luck. That's what I'm looking for. That's because I couldn't concentrate with you hammering on. Oh, you kept asking me questions. When did I start smithing? Had I ever... Someone's coming. Are you Jaw Grease and Balaja? Caliph sent me to look for you. He did? Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No, I lost it. I don't care who lost it. Just, why don't I track it down for you? I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shellwalkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. All right. Where did you last see the herd? Up on that ridge. We'll follow you. Wait. Take these arrows for the hunt. Thank you. Let's go. Be out here till I'm old and gray. See, she knows where she's going. If it's so easy, why didn't you do it? Found some tracks. This way. To be honest, I would have followed these tracks in a circle. Why aren't you asking her a thousand questions? Why would I? So you only question what I'm doing, lucky me. Can we focus on the hunt? Did you give her fire arrows or the regulars? I thought you preferred... By fire and spit, your grief! Stop asking! Questions. I'm about to spit fire. <sighs> he asks questions because he likes you. He lost the herd to spend more time with you. And Jagris is here instead of Caliph because you wanted to spend more time with him. Now let's get this herd. Okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Get ready.
good find. I would never. I just wanted to know more about you. I like the sound of your voice, even when you're yelling. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mind all the questions. It, it's kind of sweet, actually. Just not when we're hunting. We figured it out now. Beladja and I, how we're gonna be together. I'm so happy, I can't stop smiling. But I feel pretty silly after all this. I'm usually much more direct. Thanks for putting up with us. Could we take the cables back to Petra for you, or would you prefer to do it on your own? I'll take the cables to Petra. You had enough of us already? We could use a bit more time alone with each other. Thank you! So much. And, um, don't wait up. to me for help. My duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. We all have our place in the order of things. Never thought I'd see that sunrise. It's heavy. Little spark. Any sign of that man? I found him, Jira. I think you two will have a lot to talk about. I like a good story. And a good drink. It's why I'm good at what I do. He's bringing you both. Kendert wants to be with you. He regrets that he took the word of the... Yildermen? Women know their place in the claim, was their word. It's the Karja's son that bakes their brains and gives them such thoughts. That's... The tribe. You can't bear a grudge. It'd make you go mad. <laughs> My silly man. Little Spark, how can I thank you? There'll always be a drink for you at Hunter's Gathering. This story's gonna be a keeper. If he makes it the rest of the way, You've got those behemoth cables, don't you? I knew you'd come through. And Jagri's and Baladia should be along. Eventually. They're together. Finally! Petra put me on guard duty for a month, so I'm glad it was worth it. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I see you survived their bickering. Uh, barely. I could say they struggle in love because they're young, but the old rarely fare better. Thank you, Aloy, for enduring them.
back from the wilds. Find any Banuke relics? You ready? Let's trade then. Come on back if you find any Banuke goods. I have a matter of grace and- Ah, you're back. Did you bring me something lovely? Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. A moment of- Hello again. I am always happy to trick. I look for- Everyone needs a splash of color. Come, let's talk it over. She stood between the assassin and our son king. Maybe one son falls surrounded. Hmm, yes. I remember you. Did you find the vessels I seek? Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. What do...
see. A hunter, surely. Come, talk to me a moment. Watch out for the Asura merchants. They'll soon cheat you as well. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight with spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation 
will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. Polish that armor, who's it? Of course. Uh, isn't that a little... What? Nothing. Out with it, woman. You Forget I said anything. You look very dignified. Thank you. And shiny. Very shiny. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but... That was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. Uh, I only fight when I have to. But by the time I have to, I usually want to. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. 
You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the low gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy, it was done well. Although, I can't shake this road, Vinasha. She delights in goading me, like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then. Viridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. I put something special on the tips of my arrows for the eclipse. The sun is my armor. His other armor I wear is a safeguard. Elita, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. We all have our place in the order of things. Father understood that I couldn't just stand by in my garden. Sun King of Odd's spies saved Prince Ethaman from the Shadow Karja. Now they have no claim on the throne. Maybe this battle can finally end the war between the Karja. I should finish up here before the fighting starts. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry, I'll leave that to the other Nor at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. How Aloy, many men do you think no you'll kill around battle, here? Luthid? As many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. <sighs> Geneva, they called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion? Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing, I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. Can't fault my prisoners' discipline. All those dawn drills have served them well. After it's all over, I might be the only one going back to the rock. How'd you like that? Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. 
Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. Like you said, we'll I stop like Helis cold. It. Together. Enough, woman. Isn't that him? From the Battle of the Dawn? Can't be. Cinnabar Sands was before that, and there were no survivors. Well, I don't like to boast. Oh, son, keep the shadow from falling upon me. Nil? Hey, Aloy. They told me your name. I said hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by matter. Still, I forgive. A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. But you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? Killed anyone lately you'd like to talk about? I don't care for fighting machines. But I hear these ones are demons. That's exciting. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you, hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges, so I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle... I, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's in our youth. And I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. 
a great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. Cyan says she could not predict the outcome. If she had, I would have chosen not to hear it. You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. From their metal bones, I'll make my armor and my song. Are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. No promises. When you need me, I'll follow your lead. O oh, great son, how does your gaze fall? In approval or approach? Turn our heads with your daily pilgrimage, from the east where we came to the west where only you may go. You grant cold metal the warmth of life and let the machines bask in your great shining. For you, the shadows shrink and part and gather again only at your allowance without form. Your eyes, the day, your ears, the priests, your lips, the radiant sun king, as there was before and will be again, your light. Look out below! Naman, I should have known if there was going to be a Sun Priest here, it would be you. And if the Sun King had allowed Outlanders to set foot upon the Alight, this Aloy could only be you. I wish the circumstances were different. Or that the Psalms of the Sun could give you peace of mind. But if you'll allow me one pontification... Go ahead. You've shown strength and compassion. Our enemies only a desperate hate. Both sides claim the blessing of the Sun. But the son that I pray to, it would bestow it upon yours. You know, Naman, I'm already under some pretty heavy divine pressure, but I'll try to live up to it. The tribes united against Shadow. How could that not be the son's will? The Ataru have a proverb. Green grows from the ashes of a forest blaze. From what I could gather, the Nora believed their goddess chose them for a fated battle.
It rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you... you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. The cards do not impress me. To build so tall is to invite the fate of the ancients. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. The, and you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the Goddess says. Or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Your friend, the Vanguard, keeps looking over. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys dressed like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. Hey, let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. What kind of machines have they got? Big, ugly ones. From the ancients. Ugly and ancient? Like your mother? Worse, like your wife. That's enough. This is what I have. We gonna fight soon? I'm getting hungry. You're always hungry. Feasts on me. After we win. Beer too? Beer too. Well, you just can't leave me alone, can you? I think she likes you. You gonna kiss her, Captain? Shut up. Now. We'll just pretend that never happened.
charge in shadow. Bowen's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. There are signs from the west. Sun King of Ard awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not worth smoke. And what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Spoke of. To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do as she says! <laughs> Set loaded! All of you, be ready to fire! <gasps> Will the guns hold them back? Enforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! You have fixed me all enough. You should have fought me in a sun ring then.
can't let him in close. What are you before the terror of the sun? The one who will take you down. I am chosen. You came from nothing. You will die of nothing. He's too dangerous and close. I am chosen. This was not meant to be. And for what? To die on your knees, used like a pawn by a power you don't even understand? You... pity me? Turn your face to the sun.
Aloy. 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 Dad. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Teb. I've got to go. This is where I belong, Aloy. Eh, but the spire calls for you. Aloy, hey, go! We'll draw them. Now you face the truth, son, shadow demons. Must have gotten through the defenses. Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there.
you're alive. Aloy! It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. I should stock up. Last chance.
My way's clear. Finish it, Aloy! Finish it now! System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat. Master Override Arm. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious.
and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow.
friend remember me we've still so much to discuss so much you never revealed your masters for example the ones who sent the signal that woke you knowledge has its rewards don't you think well let's begin <laughs> 